Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how I made this cool uh, bottle opener out of uh, a piece of scrap pallet wood and an old coin. So hope you enjoy the video and cheers! So I had a piece of old scrap wood off a pallet and the first thing to do was to mark up the length of the bottle opener. And I went with roughly 16 centimeters. I then wanted to make a mark for the top section and then add a, like a taper for the lower section. So there I'm just adding a, a taper, a very subtle taper on the bottom section. So I then needed to work out the middle. So um, I used the um, combination square here and I drew a line and this would make it a lot easier for me to uh, drill the holes later for the coin and uh, for where the top, the bottle top goes. So um, I used a forstner bit and I'm just looking there to see roughly where it needs to go. And I used a bradle to make a mark. And then I used a 35mm forstner bit for the top hole and that is where the, uh, the bottle top will go. And for the depth, I just used the depth of the bit, which was fine. So now I wanted to get the coin that I was going to use. And this was one from a previous holiday that I'd been on years ago. And I'm just checking there uh, the rough position that it needs to be in so that the coin can act as a lever to uh, remove the lid. So it overlaps the first hole slightly. I'm just roughly working out where the middle of the coin is going to be. So then I used a 30mm bit, which happened to be the same diameter as the coin. And I only went down roughly the same depth of the thickness of the coin here. So it was then time to actually drill a hole in the centre of the coin so that I could add a screw later on to connect it. I also countersunk the hole so that the head of the screw would sit nice and flush in there. So then I, uh, I cut the, um, the bottle opener away from that piece of wood. And now I needed to cut the tapered sections. So um, the angle that I'd made wasn't on my mitre saw. I had to roughly by eye work out the angle. And then just cut a slither of uh, material off each side. And now I wanted to uh, round over the ends. So I used the coin to uh, draw around, as you can see there. And then I used the jigsaw to cut those ends off. And I also did exactly the same thing to the bottom. So now it's time to give it all a good sanding down and uh, I started off with 100 grit and I sanded all around 
the edges to make the whole thing smooth. And then I finished it up with a 240 grit and I just spent quite a bit of time getting it nice and smooth, it was worth spending the time on. So then I added some glue to the area where the coin was going to lay and that would just keep it nice and secure along with the screw that would be added later on. and I spread the glue around evenly so then it was time to add the coin and I used a screw that matched the colour of the coin. Now I needed to add a finish and for the finish I chose some boiled linseed oil and this really brought the grain out nicely and at this point I realised that I wasn't sure what type of wood this was. I think it may be a hardwood. Um, it does feel very hard. And it has a nice grain to it. But I'm not quite sure what kind of wood it is. So if you know, please let me know. I then just gave it a rubbing down with a dry cloth Right so there you have it, a handmade bottle opener made of a piece of scrap uh, wood from a pallet and an old coin from a previous holiday. So the only thing left to do now is to give it a test. Works good. Ah, cheers. And there it was complete. So I was really pleased with how it turned out. Uh, really nice grain on the wood as you can see there. My guess was maple wood, but as I say, I'm not sure. If you know, please let me know. So um, if you like the video, Please remember to uh, like and also comment and if you've got any questions please let me know and also consider subscribing if you haven't already for more videos. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.